Premier League action returns this Friday night, and here are the top five fixed player picks for game week one. Liverpool's fullbacks were responsible for a combined total of 25 assists last season, in addition to the Reds' league high clean sheet tally, making £7 million appear a worthwhile investment for Robertson. The 2018 19 runners up were especially resilient at Anfield, with no Premier League opponent keeping more than their 12 clean sheets or conceding fewer than their 19 big chances during home matches. The Scotland left back picked up 8 of his 12 assists during the second half of the campaign with only De Bruyne, Jimenez and Fraser creating more big chances in that time. He amassed a total of 103 FPL points during that period, matching Van Dijk and Laporte, with no defender returning more than the trio. Norwich are known to be a free-scoring team, but the step up from the championship is huge, and they could not have asked for a stiffer task than breaching the best defence from last season. They were also less prolific away from home than at Carrow Road. Our fixed algorithm projects a 60% chance of a Liverpool clean sheet and a point score of 6.4 for Robertson. Despite being bumped up in price to £8 million, Callum Wilson could still provide value up front. With 14 goals and 12 assists across 30 appearances last season, the 27-year-old only trailed premium assets of Bamiang and Aguero for goal involvement amongst forwards. Wilson provided 10 FPL involvements in 11 appearances during the second half of the campaign, only trailing Aguero amongst forwards with an average of 6.3 points per game. 1.1 big chances per game during the same period saw the Bournemouth forward rank joint top across all positions, level with Aubameyang and ahead of Mane and Vardy. Bournemouth scored 30 goals in their home matches, the 8th highest in the league. They created 53 big chances on home turf, a number beaten only by Arsenal, Liverpool and Man City. The Blades conceded an average of 1.04 goals per game away versus 0.74 at home, so are definitely more porous on their travels, which is also evidenced by the fact that they kept a clean sheet in 39% of their away games versus 52% on home turf. Our fixed algorithm projects a point score of 4.6 for the striker. An average of 6.9 points per game against the bottom six teams last season highlights Ryan Fraser's potential to achieve a strong start to the campaign. Bournemouth faced newly promoted sides in the opening two game weeks. The Scotland international was directly involved in 21 goals last season, with only Sterling producing more than his 14 FPL assists. 26 big chances created by the 25-year-old was at least 10 more than any other player managed, while only Madison offered more than his 93 attempted assists. Bournemouth scored 56 goals last season, the most of any side outside of the top six. They fashioned a total of 95 big chances, the fifth highest in the league, with only Chelsea, Man United, Liverpool and Man City faring better. Although Sheffield United had the best defensive record in the championship last season, with 21 clean sheets, only nine of these were on the road. The Blades will have their work cut out keeping an attacking Cherries outfit at bay, and our fixed algorithm projects a point score of 4.6 for the Scott. Harry Kane overcame his injury problems to make a total of 27 starts last season, producing an average of 5.7 points per game, only behind Aguero amongst FPL forwards. The England captain achieved an even higher average of 6.7 points per game if we disregard matches against the top six teams, and 8.3 points per game if we just include last season's bottom six teams, highlighting his appeal against lower table opposition. Amongst regular starters last season, Kane's average of 0.6 goals per game was joint best in the league, on par with Aubameyang, Salah, Aguero and Mane. His average of 3.6 shots per game also ranked joint top amongst FPL players, while only Aguero averaged more attempts from inside the box and only Salah fired more efforts on target per game. Spurs scored 67 goals last season, with only Arsenal, Liverpool and Man City finding the back of the net more regularly. They also ranked 4th for goal attempts, trailing Liverpool, Chelsea and Man City. Their opponents Aston Villa could only muster 12 clean sheets in the championship, a number beaten by 10 teams. They conceded a total of 64 goals, an average of 1.31 per game. Kane will be backing himself to get started early in August this time around, and our fixed algorithm projects a point score of 7.2 for the Englishman. Mo Salah looked lively against Man City in the Community Shield, seeing what looked to be a certain goal denied by an incredible off-the-line clearance from Walker. 
He took a total of 10 goal attempts during the game, including two efforts against the woodwork. The 27-year-old achieved an average of 10.5 points per game during home matches against the bottom six teams last season, and an incredible 14 points per game against the now-relegated trio of Cardiff, Fulham and Huddersfield at Anfield. He found 20 of his 34 FPL involvements last season on home turf, with only Sterling able to match that tally amongst midfielders. The Reds scored a total of 89 goals last season, only Man City fared better. Their total of 108 big chances was also only beaten by Man City's 125. Norwich only kept 13 clean sheets in the championship, with 7 teams bettering that number. They conceded a total of 57 goals, with 23 of those coming on the road. Our fix algorithm backs the Egyptian to get on the score sheet with a point score of 7.7. .7. Use artificial intelligence and Opta stats to build your squad for the new season. Analyze the highest owned players and most popular starting squad currently entered into FPL. Upload your squad at fantasyfootballfix.com now to improve your FPL performance. Click the link below or head over to fantasyfootballfix.com to get started.